Hey everybody, welcome back to another video within the Generative AI tool series. And in this video, we'll be talking about the much awaited Meta's Llama 3, which blew up Twitter, which blew up LinkedIn, which blew up all kind of competition within the ground. 8 billion and 70 billion parameters as pre-trained and instruction tuned open source models. This is huge. It's going to have huge implications on the generative AI landscape currently. There was a time when I thought that GPT-4 would only have real competition in Gemini, but Meta is like flexing out. So in this video, we'll, we'll sort of talk about how you can get your hands on Llama 3, how you can use it uh, within Meta AI and how you can use it uh, locally on your machine. So let's get into it. So let's talk a bit about it. Uh, so we have a couple of banners over here, uh, which is experience Llama 3 with Meta AI, which we're going to do in a bit. So obviously uh, with that much parameters, it definitely has great capabilities in terms of understanding contextual knowledge and stuff like that. So no doubt over there. Enhanced performance. Yeah, pretty, pretty. Pretty same stuff over here, an openly accessible model that excels at language nuances, contextual understanding, and complex tasks like translation, dialogue generation. Perfect. So you can access it through Meta AI, which happens to be like Meta's version of uh, ChatGPT. So yeah, so but for me, whenever I'm trying out a LLM, I, I have this funny uh funny problem that I use. So it's like, what is two raised to power 10 divided by three, which happens to be 10.07, 10.1, if you're rounding by one. So, so normally if I just give it to chat GPT, it's like blah, 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 blah. And it gives 10, which isn't wrong. Like that's, that's right. Let's see if Meta AI can get a bit closer to the real answer. Do -do -do. And well, quite closer, quite. But obviously, uh, we can debate. Obviously, I know it's a it's a funny benchmark problem, but it's just something that I just have to try out with every new uh, outcoming LLM. So it's kind of nice. Uh, so you can use Meta AI over here uh, by the link of meta.ai. But if you want to use it locally for that, I would recommend that you use Olama, which happens to be a great tool, which you can install on your Mac machine, Linux machine or Windows machine. And I'm currently signed up and I also have it downloaded. So I'm good to go. So at the top, we have Llama three, which has 78.5 K pulls under 17 hours, which is huge. So we have model family Llama parameters, 8 billion quantization for bit. Uh, so if you don't know about quantization, it's like a technique uh, used because when you have uh, so many parameters, obviously you cannot just let the LLM go with it. Because if you if you run that sort of thing on your machine or in within your infrastructure, it will consume a lot of computation power. So quantization is more like it tones down your LLM uh, by using a few techniques. So yeah, it saves a lot of computation powers and so on and so forth. So here we have a few flexes by Llama 3. So so you have a couple of readings here, how it sort of uh, outruns Mistral 7B and Claude 3 Sonnet. And here, uh, once you install it, uh, Olama, you can use CLI to run Llama 3. You can even use it within your API if you're using any sort of LLM powered application. So if you want to try that out, uh, you can do it once you actually uh, run Llama 3. Then we have model variants where, as we discussed uh, in the beginning of the video, we have instruction tune models. So you just have to run uh, Olama run Llama 3 and for 70 billion, I don't know why would you run it, but if you wanna, uh, then you can just use 
this particular command here. Uh, so the pre-trained models, uh, so yeah, so if you want to fine tune uh, Llama 3 or previous models of Llama, obviously you would use pre-trained version, which is like the base models. So it's perfect for fine tuning if you want to use it. So let's go ahead and download Llama 3. All right, so I have everything installed, so it's ready to use. So for this, I'm just gonna send a particular message. So I'm just gonna say, write a Python script to fetch an image from Unsplash. So if you don't know, Unsplash is like a website that doesn't generate images it's more like it, it has a particular API that you can use to uh, just fetch images regarding a particular subject so let's try this out uh, let me clear out the background for you guys that was quick that was that was really quick and yes you would you would hear this a lot in terms of performance it's probably the best one that we have right now so let's check so the api url is correct and we have very tight of our image orientation all right this is kind of nice um so you get the gist of it it's it's kind of i mean i i love the performance aspect and definitely there's a lot more to come there had been like a lot of promises by Mark Zuckerberg in terms of the evolution of Llama 3 and how it will impact some of their upcoming products. So can't wait to see that. So yeah, that's it for this particular video. I hope you can go on and install Olama and sort of play around with Llama 3 and let me know what you think about it. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.